Paradise Lost by John Milton. Book 9. The Argument. Satan having compassed the earth. With meditated guile returns as a mist by night into paradise. Enters into the serpent sleeping. Adam and Eve in the morning go forth to their labors. Which Eve proposes to divide in several places. Each laboring apart, Adam consents not, alleging the danger, lest that enemy, of whom they were forewarned, should attempt her found alone, Eve loath to be thought not circumspect or firm enough, urges her going apart, the rather desirous to make trial of her strength. Adam at last yields, the serpent finds her alone, his subtle approach, first gazing, then speaking, with much flattery extolling Eve above all other creatures. Eve wondering to hear the serpent speak. Asks how he attained to human speech and such understanding not till now. The serpent answers. That by tasting of a certain tree in the garden he attained both to speech and reason. Till then void of both, Eve requires him to bring her to that tree. And finds it to be the tree of knowledge forbidden. The serpent now grown bolder, with many wiles and arguments induces her at length to eat. She pleased with the taste deliberates a while whether to impart thereof to Adam or not. At last brings him of the fruit, relates what persuaded her to eat thereof. Adam at first amazed, but perceiving her lost, resolves through vehemence of love to perish with her. And extenuating the trespass, eats also of the fruit. The effects thereof in them both, they seek to cover their nakedness. Then fall to variance and accusation of one another. No more of talk where God or angel guessed. With man, as with his friend, familiar us To sit indulgent, and with him partake. Rural repast, permitting him the while. Venial discourse unblamed, I now must change. Those notes to tragic, foul distrust, and breach. Disloyal on the part of man, revolt. And disobedience, on the part of heaven. Now alienated, distance and distaste. Anger and just rebuke, and judgment given. That brought into this world a world of woe. Zinna and her shadow death, and misery. Death's harbinger, sat task, yet argument. Not less but more heroic than the wrath. Of stern Achilles on his foe pursued. Thrice fugitive about Troy wall, or rage. Of Turnus Flavinia disespoused. Or Neptune's Ire or Juno's, that so long. Perplexed the Greek and Cytheria's son. If answerable style I can obtain. Of my celestial patroness, who deigns. Her nightly visitation unimplored. And dictates to me slumbering, or inspires. Easy my unpremeditated verse. Since first this subject for heroic song. Pleased me long choosing, and beginning late. Not sedulous by nature to indict. Wars, hitherto the only argument. Heroic deemed, chief maestry to dissect. With long and tedious havoc fabled knights. In battles feigned, the better fortitude. Of patience and heroic martyrdom. Unsung, or to describe races and games. Or tilting furniture, emblazoned shields. Impresses quaint, caparisons and steeds. Bases and tinsel trappings, gorgeous knights. At joust and tournament, then marshalled feast. Served up in hall with sewers, and seneschals. The skill of artifice or office mean. Not that which justly gives heroic name. To person or to poem. Me of these. Nor skill nor studious, higher argument. Remains, sufficient of itself to raise. That name, unless an age too late, or cold. Climat, or years damp my intended wing. Depressed, and much they may, if all be mine. Not hers who brings it nightly to my ear. The sun was sunk, and after him the star. Of Hesperus, whose office is to bring. Twilight upon the earth, short arbiter. Twixt day and night, and now from end to end. Night's hemisphere had veiled the horizon round. When Satan who late fled before the threats. 
of Gabriel out of Eden, now improved. In meditated fraud and malice, bent. On man's destruction, maugre what might hap. Of heavier on himself, fearless returned. By night he fled, and at midnight returned. From compassing the earth, cautious of day. Since Uriel regent of the sun discreet. His entrance, and forewarned the cherubim. That kept their watch, thence full of anguish driven. The space of seven continued nights he rode. With darkness, thrice the equinoctial line. He circled, four times crossed he the car of night. From pole to pole, traversing each color. On the eighth returned, and on the coast of Erse. From entrance or cherubic watch, by stealth. Found unsuspected way, there was a place. Now not, though sin, not time, first wrought the change. Where Tigris at the foot of paradise. Into a gulf shot underground, till part. Rose up a fountain by the tree of life. In with the river sunk, and with it rose. Satan involved in rising mist, then sought. Where to lie hid, see he had searched and land. From Eden over Pontus, and the pool. Meotis, up beyond the river Ob. Downward as Fantatic, and in length. West from Orontes to the ocean Bard. At Darien, thence to the land where flows. Ganges and Indus, thus the orb he roamed. With narrow search, and with inspection deep. Considered every creature, which of all. Most opportune might serve his wiles, and found. The serpent subtlest beast of all the field. Him after long debate, irresolute. Of thoughts revolved, his final sentence chose. Fit vessel, fittest imp of fraud, in whom. To enter, and his dark suggestions hide. From sharpest sight, for in the wily snake. Whatever slights none would suspicious mark. As from his wit and native subtlety. Proceeding, which in other beasts observed. Doubt might beget of diabolic power. Active within beyond the sense of brute. Thus he resolved, but first from inward griefer. His bursting passion into plaints thus poured. O oh earth, how like to heaven, if not preferred. More justly, seat worthier of gods, as built. With second thoughts, reforming what was old. For what God after better worse would build? Terrestrial heaven, danked round by other heavens. That shine, yet bear their bright officious lamps. Light above light, for thee alone, as seems. In thee concentering all their precious beams. Of sacred influence, as God in heaven. His center, yet extends to all, so thou. Centering receivest from all those orbs, in thee. Not in themselves, all their known virtue appears. Productive in herb, plant, and nobler birth. Of creatures animate with gradual life. Of growth, sense, reason, all summed up in man. With what delight could I have walked thee round? If I could joy in aught, sweet interchange. Of hill, and volley, rivers, woods, and plains. Now land, now sea, and shores with forest crowned. Rocks, dens, and caves, but I in none of these. Find place or refuge, and the more I see. Pleasures about me, so much more I feel. Torment within me, as from the hateful siege. Of contraries, all good to me becomes. Bane, and in heaven much worse would be my state. But neither here seek I, no nor in heaven. To dwell, unless by maestering heaven's supreme. Nor hope to be myself less miserable. By what I seek, but others to make such. As I, though thereby worse to me redound. For only in destroying I find ease. To my relentless thoughts, and him destroyed. Or one to what may work his utter loss. For whom all this was made, all this will soon. Follow, as to him linked in weal or woe. In woe then, that destruction wide may range. To me shall be the glory soul among. The infernal powers, in one day to have marred. What he almighty styled, 
six nights and days. Continued making, and who knows how long. Before had been contriving, though perhaps. Not longer than since I in one night freed. From servitude in glorious well nigh half. Th angelic name, and thinner left the throng. Of his adorers, he to be avenged. And to repair his numbers thus impaired. Whether such virtue spent of old now failed. More angels to create, if they at least. Are his created, or to spite us more. Determined to advance into our room. A creature formed of earth, and him in doubt. Exalted from so base original. With heavenly spoils, our spoils, what he decreed. He effected, man he made, and for him built. Magnificent this world, and earth his seat. Him Lord pronounced he, and, O oh indignity. Subjected to his service angel wings. And flaming ministers to watch and tend. Thirthy charge, of these the vigilance. I dread, and to elude, thus wrapped in mist. Of midnight vapor glide obscure, and pre. In every bush and brake, where hap may fiend a. The serpent sleeping, in whose mazy folds. To hide me, and the dark intent I bring. O foul descent, that I who erst contended. With gods to sit the highest, am now constrained. Into a beast, and mixed with bestial slime. This essence to incarnate and imbrute. That to the height of deity aspered. But what will not ambition and revenge? Descend to? Who aspires must down as low. As high he soared, obnoxious first or last. To basest things. Revenge, at first though sweet. Bitter ere long back on itself recoils. Let it, I reck not, so it light well aimed. Since higher I fall short, on him who next. Provokes my envy, this new favorite. Of heaven, this man of clay, son of despite. Who must the more to spite his maker rised? From dust, spite then with spite is best repaid. So saying, through each thicket dank or dree. Like a black mist low creeping, he held on. His midnight search, where soonest he might fiend a. The serpent, him fast sleeping soon he found. In labyrinth of many a round self rolled. His head the midst, well stored with subtle wiles. Not yet in horrid shade or dismal den. Nor no scent yet, but on the grassy ebb. Fearless unfeared he slept, in at his mouth. The devil entered, and his brutal sense. In heart or head, possessing soon inspired. With act intelligential, but his sleep. Disturbed not, waiting close th approach of morn. Now when a sacred light began to dawn. In Eden on the humid flowers, that breathed. Thur morning incense, when all things that breath. From th earth's great hall to send up silent praise. To the creator, and his nostrils fill. With grateful smell, forth came the human bear. And joined thur vocal worship to the choir. Of creatures wanting voice, that done, partake. The season, prime for sweetest scents and diaries. Then commune how the day they best may ply. Thur growing work, for much thur work outgrew. The hands dispatch of two gardening so wide. And Eve first to her husband thus began. Adam, well may we labor still to dress. This garden, still to tend plant, herb, and flower. Our pleasant task enjoined, but till more hands. Aid us, the work under our labor grows. Luxurious by restraint, what we by day. Lop overgrown, or prune, or prop, or bind. One night or two with wanton growth derides. Tending to wild. Thou therefore now advise. Or hear what to my mind first thoughts present. Let us divide our labors, thou wear choice. Leads thee, or where most needs, whether to wind. The woodbine round this arbor, or direct. The clasping ivy where to climb, while I. In yonder spring of roses intermixed. With myrtle, find what to redress till noon. 
for while so near each other thus all day. A task we choose, what wonder if so near. Looks intervene and smiles, or object new. Casual discourse drawn, which intermits. Our day's work brought to little, though begun. Early, and th hour of supper comes unearned. To whom mild answer Adam thus returned. So leave, associate soul, to me beyond. Compare above all living creatures dear. Well hast thou motioned, well thy thoughts employed. How we might best fulfill the work which here. God hath assigned us, nor of me shalt pass. Unpraised, for nothing lovelier can be found. In woman, then to study household good. And good works in her husband to promote. Yet not so strictly hath our Lord imposti. Labor, as to debar us when we need. Refreshment, whether food, or talk between. Food of the mind, or this sweet intercourse. Of looks and smiles, for smiles from reason flow. To brute denied, and are of love the food. Love not the lowest end of human life. For not to irksome while, but to delight. He made us, and delight to reason joined. These paths and bowers doubt not but our joint hands. We'll keep from wilderness with ease, as wide. As we need walk, till younger hands ere long. Assist us, but if much converse perhaps. Thee satiate, to short absence I could yield. For solitude sometimes is best society. And short retirement urges sweet return. But other doubt possesses me, least harm. Befall thee severed from me, for thou know'st. What hath been warned us, what malicious foe. Envying our happiness, and of his own. Despairing, seeks to work as woe and shame. By sly assault, and somewhere nigh at hand. Watches, no doubt, with greedy hope to find. His wish and best advantage, us asunder. Hopeless to circumvent us joined, where each. To other speedy aid might lend at need. Whether his first design be to withdraw. Our fealty from God, or to disturb. Conjugal love, then which perhaps no bliss. Enjoyed by us excites his envy more. Or this, or worse, leave not the faithful side. That gave thee being, still shades thee and protects. The wife, where danger or dishonor lurks. Safest and seemliest by her husband's star ease. Who guards her, or with her the worst endures? To whom the virgin majesty of Eve? As one who loves, and some unkindness meets. With sweet austere composure thus replied. Offspring of heaven and earth, and all earth's lord. That's such an enemy we have, who seeks. Our ruin, both by the informed I learn. And from the parting angel overheard. As in a shady nook I stood behind. Just then returned at shut of evening flowers. But that thou shouldst my firmness the fore doubt. To God or thee, because we have a foe. May tempt it, I expected not to hear. His violence thou fearst not, being such. As we, not capable of death or pain. Can either not receive, or can repel. His fraud is then thy fear, which plain infers. Thy equal fear that my firm faith and love. Can by his fraud be shack or seduct. Thoughts, which how found they harbor in thy breast. Adam, misthought of her to thee so dear. To whom with healing words Adam replied. Daughter of God and man, immortal Eve. For such thou art, from sin and blame entire. Not diffident of thee do I dissuade. Thy absence from my sight, but to avoid. Th attempt itself, intended by our foe. For he who tempts, though in vain, at least asperses. The tempted with dishonor foul, supposed. Not incorruptible of faith, not pro off. Against temptation, thou thyself with scorn. And anger wouldst resent the offered wrong. Though ineffectual found, misteem not then. If such a front I labor to avert. From thee alone, which on us both at once. The enemy, though bold, will hardly dare. 
or daring, first on me th assault shall light. Nor thou his malice and false guile contemn. Subtle he needs must be, who could seduce. Angels nor think superfluous others aid. I from the influence of thy looks receive. Access in every virtue, in thy sight. More wise, more watchful, stronger, if need were. Of outward strength, while shame, thou looking on. Shame to be overcome or overreached would utmost vigor raise, and rise to unite. Why shouldst not thou like sense within thee feel? When I am present, and thy trial choose. With me, best witness of thy virtue tried. So spake domestic Adam in his care. And matrimonial love, but Eve, who thought. Less attributed to her faith sincere. Thus her reply with accent sweet renewed. If this be our condition, thus to dwell. In narrow circuit straightened by a foe. Subtle or violent, we not endued. Single with like defense, wherever met. How are we happy, still in fear of harm? But harm proceeds not sin, only our foe. Tempting affronts us with his foul esteem. Of our integrity, his foul esteem. Sticks no dishonor on our front, but turns. Foul on himself, then where forsened or feared. By us? Who rather double on again? From his surmise proved false, find peace within. Favor from heaven, our witness from th event. And what is faith, love, virtue unassayed? Alone, without exterior help sustained? Let us not then suspect our happy state. Left so imperfect by the maker wise. As not secure single or combined. Try lays our happiness, if this be so. And Eden were no Eden thus exposed. To whom thus Adam fervently replied. O woman, best are all things as the will. Of God ordained them, his creating hand. Nothing imperfect or deficient left. Of all that he created, much less man. Or aught that might his happy state secure. Secure from outward force, within himself. The danger lies, yet lies within his power. Against his will he can receive no harm. But God left free the will, for what obeys. Reason, is free, and reason he made right. But bid her well beware, and still erect. Least by some fair appearing good surprised. She dictate false, and misinform the will. To do what God expressly hath forbid. Not then mistrust, but tender love enjoins. That I should mind thee oft, and mind thou me. Firm we subsist, yet possible to swerve. Since reason not impossibly may meet. Some specious object by the foes are borned. And fall into deception unaware. Not keeping strictest watch, as she was warned. Seek not temptation then, which to avoid. Were better, and most likely if from me. Thou sever not, trial will come unsought. Wouldst thou approve thy constancy, approve. First thy obedience, th other who can know. Not seeing thee attempted, who attest. But if thou think, trial unsought may fiend a. Us both securer than thus warned thou seemst. Go, for thy stay, not free, absents thee more. Go in thy native innocence, rely. On what thou hast of virtue, summon all. For God towards thee hath done his part, do thine. So spake the patriarch of mankind, but Eve. Persisted, yet submiss, though last, replied. With thy permission then, and thus forewarned. Chiefly by what thy own last reasoning words. Touched only, that our trial, when least sought. May fiend they us both perhaps far less prepared. The villinger I go, nor much expect. A foe so proud will first the weaker seek. So bent, the more shall shame him his repulse. Thus saying, from her husband's hand her hand. Soft she withdrew, and like a wood in flight. Oread or dryad, or of Delia's tren. Betook her to the groves, but Delia's self. In gates surpassed the and goddess-like deport. Though not as she with bow and quiver armed. 
but with such gardening tools as art yet rude. Guiltless of fire had formed, or angels brought. To pales, or Pomona, thus adorned. Likeliest she seemed, Pomona when she fled. Vertumnus, or to Sears in her prime. Yet virgin of Proserpina from Jove. Her long with ardent look his eye pursued. Delighted, but desiring more her stay. Oft he to her his charge of quick return. Repeated, she to him as oft engaged. To be returned by noon amid the boar. And all things in best order to invite. Noontide repast, or afternoon's repose. O oh, much deceived, much failing, hapless eve. Of thy presumed return. Event perverse. Thou never from that her in paradise. Found'st either sweet repast, or sound repose. Such ambush hid among sweet flowers and shades. Waited with hellish rancor imminent. To intercept thy we, or send thee back. Despoiled of innocence, of faith, of bliss. For now, and since first break of dawn the fiend. Mere serpent in appearance, forth was come. And on his quest, where likeliest he might fiend a. The only two of mankind, but in them. The whole included race, his purposed prey. In boar and field he sought, where any tuft. Of grove or garden plot more pleasant lay. Thir tendance or plantation for delight. By fountain or by shady rivulet. He sought them both, but wished he his hat might find. Eve separate, he wished he, but not with hope. Of what so seldom chanked he, went to his wish. Beyond his hope, Eve separate he spies. Veiled in a cloud of fragrance, where she stood. Half espied, so thick the rose is bushing round. About her glowed, oft stooping to support. Each flower of slender stalk, whose head though gay. Carnation, purple, azure, or specked with gold. Hung drooping unsustained, them she upstays. Gently with myrtle band, mindless the while. Herself, the fairest unsupported flower. From her best prop so far, and storm so nigh. Nearer he drew, and many a walk traversed. Of stateliest covert, cedar, pine, or palmer. Then voluble and bold, now hid, now seen. Among thick woven arborets and flowers. Embordered on each bank, the hand of Eve. Spot more delicious than those gardens feigned. Or of revived Adonis, or renowned. Alcinous, host of old Laertes' son. Or that, not mystic, where the sapient king. Held dalliance with his fair Egyptian spouse. Much he the place admired, the person more. As one who long in populous city pent. Where houses thick and sewers annoy the air. For issuing on a summer's morn to breathe among the pleasant villages and farmers. Adjoined, from each thing met conceives delight. The smell of grain, or tedded grass, or kine. Or dairy, each rural sight, each rural sound. If chance with nymph-like step fair virgin pass. What pleasing seemed, for her now pleases more. She most, and in her look sums all delight. Such pleasure took the serpent to behold. This flowery plat, the sweet recess of Eve. Thus early, thus alone, her heavenly form. Angelic, but more soft, and feminine. Her graceful innocence, her every air of gesture or lest action overawed. His malice, and with rapine sweet bereaved. His fierceness of the fierce intent it brought. That space the evil one abstracted stood. From his own evil, and for the time remained. Stupidly good, of enmity disarmed. Of guile, of hate, of envy, of revenge, but the hot hell that always in him burns. Though in mid-heaven, soon ended his delight. And tortures him now more, the more he sees of pleasure not for him ordained, then soon. Fierce hate he recollects, and all his thoughts. Of mischief, gratulating, thus excites. Thoughts, whither have ye led me, with what sweet. Compulsion thus transported to forget. What hither brought us, hate, not love, nor hope. 
Of paradise for hell, hope here to taste. Of pleasure, but all pleasure to destroy. Save what is in destroying, other joy. To me is lost. Then let me not let pass. Occasion which now smiles, behold alone. The woman, opportune to all attempts. Her husband, for I view far round, not nigh. Whose higher intellectual more I shun. And strength, of courage OT, and of limb. Heroic built, though of terrestrial mould, foe not informidable, exempt from wound. I not, so much hath hell debased, and pain. Enfeebled me, to what I was in heaven. She fair, divinely fair, fit love for gods, not terrible, though terror be in love. And beauty, not approached by stronger hate. Hate stronger, on a show of love well feigned. The way which to her ruin now I tend. So spake the enemy of mankind, enclosed. In serpent, inmate bad, and toward Eve. Addressed he his way, not with indented wave. Prone on the ground, as sins, but on his rear. Circular base of rising folds, that cured. Fouled above fouled a surging maze, his head. Crested aloft, and carbuncle his eyes. With burnished neck of verdant gold, erect. Amidst his circling spires, that on the grass. Flitted redundant, pleasing was his shape. And lovely, never since of serpent kind. Lovelier, not those that in Illyria changed. Hermione and Cadmus, or the god. In a Pithavrus, nor to which transformed. Ammonian Jove, or Capitoline was seen. He with Olympius, this with her who bore. Scipio the height of Rome, with tract oblique. At first, as one who sought access, but feared. To interrupt, side long he works his way. As when a ship by skillful steersman wrought. Nigh river's mouth or fallen, where the wind. Very soft, as oft so steers, and shifts her salar. So varied he, and of his tortuous tren. Curled many a wanton wreath in sight of Eve. To lure her eye, she busied heard the sound. Of rustling leaves, but minded not, as us de. To such disport before her through the field. From every beast, more duteous at her call. Then at Sir Kean call the herd disguised. He bolder now, uncalled before her stood. But as in gaze admiring, oft he bowed. His turret crest, and sleek enameled neck. Fawning, and licked e the ground whereon she trod. His gentle dumb expression turned at length. The eye of Eve to mark his play, he glad. Of her attention gained, with serpent tongue. Organic, or impulse of vocal air. His fraudulent temptation thus began. Wonder not, sovereign mistress, if perhaps. Thou canst, who art sole wonder, much less arm. Thy looks, the heaven of mildness, with disdain. Displeased that I approach thee thus, and gaze. Insatiate, I thus single, nor have feared. Thy awful brow, more awful thus retired. Fairest resemblance of thy maker fair. The all things living gaze on, all things thine. By gift, and thy celestial beauty adore. With ravishment beheld, their best beheld. Where universally admired, but here. In this enclosure wild, these beasts among. Behold as rude, and shallow to discern. Half what in thee is fair, one man except. Who sees thee? And what is one, who shouldst be seen? A goddess among gods, adored and served by angels numberless, thy daily train. So glows the tempter, and his proem tunned. Into the heart of Eve his words made way. Though at the voice much marvelling, at length. Not unamazed she thus in answer spake. What may this mean? Language of man pronounced. By tongue of brute, and human sense expressed. The first at least of these I thought denied. To beasts, whom God on the creation day. Created mute to all articulate sound. The latter I demur, for in thir looks. Much reason, and in thirctions oft appears. 
the serpent, subtlest beast of all the field. I knew, but not with human voice indued. Read double then this miracle, and say. How camst thou speakable of mute, and how? To me so friendly grown above the rest. Of brutal kind, that daily are in sight? Say, for such one declaims attention due. To whom the guileful tempter thus replied. Empress of this fair world, resplendent Eve. Easy to me it is to tell thee all. What thou commandst and right thou shouldst be obeyed. I was at first as other beasts that graze. The trodden herb, of abject thoughts and low. As was my food, nor aught but food discerned. Or sex, and apprehended nothing high, till on a day roving the field, I chank thee. A goodly tree far distant to behold loaden with fruit of fairest colours mixed. Ruddy and gold, I nearer drew to gaze. When from the boughs a savoury odour blow in. Grateful to appetite, more pleased my sense. Then smell of sweetest fennel or the teats. Of you or goat dropping with milk at even. Unsucked of lamb or kid, that tenth a play. To satisfy the sharp desire I had. Of tasting those fair apples, I resolved. Not to defer, hunger and thirst at once. Powerful persuaders, quickened at the scent. Of that alluring fruit, urged me so keen. About the mossy trunk I wound me soon. For high from ground the branches would require. Thy utmost reach or Adam's, round the tree. All other beasts that saw, with like desire. Longing and envying stood, but could not reach. Amid the tree now got, where plenty hung. Tempting so nigh, to pluck and eat my fill. I sparred not, for such pleasure till that hour. At feed or fountain never had I found. Sated at length, ere long I might perceive. Strange alteration in me, to degree. Of reason in my inward powers, and speech. Wanted not long, though to this shape retained. Thenceforth to speculations high or deep. I turned my thoughts, and with capacious mind. Considered all things visible in heaven. Or earth, or middle, all things fair and good. But all that fair and good in thy divine. Semblance, and in thy beauty's heavenly ray. United I beheld, no fair to thine. Equivalent or second, which compelled. Me thus, though importune perhaps, to come. And gaze, and worship thee of right declared. Sovereign of creatures, universal dame. So talked the spirited sly snake, and Eve. Yet more Amaz unwary thus replied. Serpent, thy overpraising leaves in doubt. The virtue of that fruit, in thee first proved. But say, where grows the tree, from hence how far? For many are the trees of God that grow. In paradise, and various, yet unknown. To us, in such abundance lies our choice. As leaves a greater store of fruits untouched, still hanging incorruptible, till men. Grow up to their provision, and more hands. Help to disburden nature of her birth. To whom the wily adder, blithe and glad. Empress, the way is ready, and not long. Beyond the row of myrtles, on a flat. Fast by a fountain, one small thicket passed. Of blowing myrrh and balm, if thou accept. My conduct, I can bring thee thither soon. Lead then, said Eve. He leading swiftly rolled. In tangles, and made intricate seem straight. To mischief swift. Hope elevates, and joy. Brightens his crest, as when a wandering fire. Compact of unctuous vapor, which the night. Condenses, and the cold environs round. Kindled through agitation to a flame. Which oft, they say, some evil spirit attends. Hovering and blazing with delusive light. Misleads T.H. a masked night wanderer from his way. To bogs and mires, and oft through pond or pool. There swallowed up and lost, from succor far. So glistered the dire snake, and into fraud. Led Eve our credulous mother, to the tree. Of prohibition, root of all our woe. Which when she saw, thus to her guide she spake. 
Serpent, we might have sparred our coming hither. Fruitless to me, though fruit be here to excess. The credit of whose virtue rest with thee. Wondrous indeed, if cause of such effects. But of this tree we may not taste nor touch. God so commanded, and left that command. Sole daughter of his voice, the rest, we live. Law to ourselves, our reason is our law. To whom the tempter guilefully replied. Indeed, hath God then said that of the fruit? Of all these garden trees ye shall not eat. Yet lords declared of all in earth or air? To whom thus sieve yet sinless? Of the fruit? Of each tree in the garden we may eat. But of the fruit of this fair tree amidst. The garden, God hath said, ye shall not eat. Thereof, nor shall ye touch it, lest ye die. She scarce had said, though brief, when now more bold. The tempter, but with show of zeal and love. To man, and indignation at his wrong. New part puts on, and as to passion moved. Fluctuates disturbed, yet comely and in act. Prized, as of some great matter to begin. As when of old some orator renowned. In Athens or free Rome, where eloquence. Flourished, since mute, to some great cause addressed. Stood in himself collected, while each part, motion, each act one audience ere the tongue. Sometimes in height began, as no delay. Of preface brooking through his zeal of right. So standing, moving, or to height upgrown. The tempter all impassioned thus began. O sacred, wise, and wisdom giving plant, mother of science, now am I feel thy power. Within me clear, not only to discern. Things in thir causes, but to trace the ways. Of highest agents, deemed however wise. Queen of this universe, do not believe those rigid threats of death, ye shall not die. How should ye? By the fruit? It gives you life. To knowledge, by the threatener? Look on me. Me who have touched thee and tasted, yet both live. And life more perfect have attained than fate. Meant me, by venturing higher than my lot. Shall that be shut to man, which to the beast? Is open? Or will God incense his ire? For such a petty trespass, and not praise. Rather your dauntless virtue, whom the pain. Of death denunct, whatever thing death be. Deterred not from achieving what might lead. To happier life, knowledge of good and evil. Of good, how just. Of evil, if what is evil be real, why not known, since easier shunned. God therefore cannot hurt ye, and be just. Not just, not God, not feared then, nor obeyed. Your fear itself of death removes the fear. Why then was this forbid? Why but to war? Why but to keep ye low and ignorant? His worshippers, he knows that in the day. Ye eat thereof, your eyes that seem so clear. Yet are but dim, shall perfectly be then. Opened and cleared, and ye shall be as gods. Knowing both good and evil as they know. That ye should be as gods, since I as man. Internal man, is but proportion meet. I of brute human, ye of human gods. So ye shall die perhaps, by putting off. Human, to put on gods, death to be wished. Though threatened, which no worse than this can bring. And what are gods that man may not become? As they, participating godlike food? The gods are first, and that advantage use. On our belief, that all from them proceeds. I question it, for this fair earth I see. Warmed by the sun, producing every kind. Them nothing, if they all things, who enclosed. Knowledge of good and evil in this tree. That whoso eats thereof, forthwith attains. Wisdom without their leave, and wherein lies. Th offense, that man should thus attain to know. What can your knowledge hurt him, or this tree? Impart against his will if all be his? Or is it envy, and can envy dwell? In heavenly breasts? These, these and many more causes import Causes import your need of this fair fruit. 
God is humane, reach then, and freely taste. He ended, and his words replete with guile. Into her heart too easy entrance won. Fixed on the fruit she gazed, which to behold. Might tempt alone, and in her ears the sound. Yet rung of his persuasive words, impregned. With reason, to her seeming, and with truth. Meanwhile the hour of noon drew on, and whacked e. An eager appetite, rised by the smell. So savoury of that fruit, which with desire. Inclinable now grown to touch or taste. Solicited her longing eye, yet first. Pausing a while, thus to herself she moves d. Great are thy virtues, doubtless, best of fruits. Though kept from man, and worthy to be admired. Whose taste, too long forborn, at first essay. Gave elocution to the mute, and taught. The tongue not made for speech to speak thy praise. Thy praise he also who forbids thy use. Conceals not from us, naming thee the tree. Of knowledge, knowledge both of good and evil. Forbids us then to taste, but is forbidding. Commends thee more, while it infers the good. By thee communicated, and our want. For good unknown, sure is not had, or had and yet unknown, is as not had at all. In plain then, what forbids he but to know? Forbids us good, forbids us to be wise? Such prohibitions bind not. But if death bind us with after bands, what profits then? Our inward freedom? In the day we eat. Of this fair fruit, our doom is, we shall die. How dies the serpent? He hath eaten and lives. And knows, and speaks, and reasons, and discerns. Irrational till then. For us alone. Was death invented, or to us denied? This intellectual food, for beasts reserved? For beasts it seems, yet that one beast which first hath tasted, envies not, but brings with joy. The good befallen him, author unsuspect. Friendly to man, far from deceit or guile. What fear I then, rather what no to fear? Under this ignorance of good and evil. Of God or death? of law or penalty? Here grows the cure of all, this fruit divine. Fair to the eye, inviting to the taste. Of virtue to make wise, what hinders then? To reach, and feed at once both body and mind? So saying, her rash hand in evil hour. Forth reaching to the fruit, she plucked e, she eat. Earth felt the wound, and nature from her seat. Sighing through all her works gave signs of woe. That all was lost. Back to the thicket slunk. The guilty serpent, and well might, for Eve. Intent now wholly on her taste, naught else. Regarded, such delight till then, as seemed. In fruit she never tasted, whether true. Or fancied so, through expectation high. Of knowledge, nor was Godhead from her thought. Greedily she engorged without restraint. And knew not eating death, satiate at length. And heightened as with wine, jocund and boon. Thus to herself she pleasingly began. O sovereign, virtuous, precious of all trees. In paradise, of operation blessed. To sapience, hitherto obscured, infarmed. And thy fair fruit let hang, as to no end. Created, but henceforth my early care, not without song, each morning, and due praise. Shall tend thee, and the fertile burden ease. Of thy full branches offered free to all, till dieted by thee I grow mature. In knowledge, as the gods who all things know. Though others envy what they cannot give. For had the gift been theirs, it had not here. Thus grown. Experience, next to thee I owe. Best guide, not following thee, I had remained. In ignorance, thou openst wisdom's way. And gives access, though secret she retire. And I perhaps am secret, heaven is high. High and remote to see from thence distinct. Each thing on earth, and other care perhaps. May have diverted from continual watch. Our great forbidder, safe with all his spies. 
about him, but to Adam in what sort? Shall I appear? Shall I to him make known? As yet my change, and give him to partake full happiness with me, or rather not. But keep the odds of knowledge in my power. Without co-partner? So to add what wants. In female sex, the more to draw his love, and render me more equal, and perhaps. A thing not undesirable, sometimes superior, for inferior who is free? This may be well, but what if God have seen? And death ensue? then I shall be no more. And Adam wedded to another Eve. Shall live with her enjoying, I extinct. A death to think, confirmed then I resolve. Adam shall share with me in bliss or woe. So dear I love him, that with him all deaths. I could endure, without him live no life. So saying, from the tree her step she turned. But first low reverence don, as to the power that dwelt within, whose presence had infused, into the plant sciential sap, derived, from nectar, drink of gods, Adam the while, waiting desirous her return, had wove, of choicest flowers a garland to adorn, her tresses, and her oral labors crown, as reapers oft are wont the harvest queen, great joy he promised to his thoughts, and knew, Solace in her return, so long delayed. Yet oft his heart, divine of something ill. Misgave him, he the faltering measure felt. And forth to meet her went, the way she took. That morn when first they parted, by the tree. Of knowledge he must pass, there he her met. Scars from the tree returning, in her hand. A bough of fairest fruit that down he smelled. New gathered, and ambrosial smell de fusti. To him she hasted, in her face excuse. Came prologue, and apology to prompt. Which with bland words at will she thus addressed. Hast thou not wondered, Adam, at my stay? Thee I have missed, and thought it long, depraved. Thy presence, agony of love till now. Not felt, nor shall be twice, for never more. Mean I to try, what rash untreat I sought. The pain of absence from thy sight, but strange. Hath been the cause, and wonderful to hear. This tree is not as we are told, a tree. Of danger tasted, nor to evil unknown. Opening the way, but of divine effect. To open eyes, and make them gods who taste. And hath been tasted such, the serpent wise or not restrained as we, or not obeying, hath eaten of the fruit, and is become, not dead, as we are threatened, but thenceforth, endued with human voice and human sense, reasoning to admiration, and with me, persuasively hath so prevailed, that I, have also tasted, and have also found, th effects to correspond, open a mine eyes, dimmest, dilated spirits, ampler heart, and growing up to Godhead, which for thee, chiefly I sought, without thee can despise. For bliss, as thou hast part, to me is bliss. Tedious, unshard with thee, and odious soon. Thou therefore also taste, that equal lot. May join us, equal joy, as equal love. Least thou not tasting, different degree. Disjoin us, and I then too late renounce. Deity for thee, when fate will not permit. Thus Eve with countenance blithe her story told. But in her cheek distemper flushing loud. On th other side, Adam, soon as he heard. The fatal trespass on by Eve, amazed. Astonid stood and blank, while horror chill. Ran through his veins, and all his joints relaxed e. From his slack hand the garland wreathed e for Eve. Down dropped e, and all the faded roses shed. Speechless he stood and pale, till us at length. First to himself he inward silence broke. A fairest of creation, last and best. Of all God's works, creature in whom excelled. Whatever can to sight or thought be formed. Holy, divine, good, amiable, or sweet. How art thou lost, how on a sudden lost? 
defect, deflured, and now to death devote? Rather how hast thou yielded to transgress? The strict forbiddance, how to violate? The sacred fruit forbidden, some cursed fraud. Of enemy hath beguiled thee, yet unknown. And me with thee hath ruined, for with thee. Certain my resolution is to die. How can I live without thee, how forego? Thy sweet converse and love so dearly joined. To live again in these wild woods forlorn? Should God create another Eve, and I? Another rib afford, yet loss of thee? Would never from my heart, no no, I feel. The link of nature draw me, flesh of flesh. Bone of my bone thou art, and from thy state. Mine never shall be parted, bliss or woe. So having said, as one from sad dismay. Recomforted, and afterthoughts disturbed. Submitting to what seemed remediless. Thus in calm mood his words to Eve he turned. Bold deed thou hast presumed, adventurous Eve. And peril great provoked, who thus hath died. Had it been wanly coveting to I. That sacred fruit, sacred to abstinence. Much more to taste it under ban to touch. But past who can recall, or don undo? Not God omnipotent, nor fate, yet so. Perhaps thou shalt not die, perhaps the fact. Is not so heinous now, foretasted fruit. Profan first by the serpent, by him first. Made common and unhallowed ere our taste. Nor yet on him found deadly, he yet lives. Lives, as thou saidst, and gains to live as man. Higher degree of life, inducement strong. To us, as likely tasting to attain. Proportional assent, which cannot be. But to be gods, or angels to me gods. Nor can I think that God, creator wise. Though threatening, will in earnest so destroy. Us his prime creatures, dignified so high. Set over all his works, which in our fall. For us created, needs with us must fail. Dependent made, so God shall uncreate. Be frustrate, do, undo, and labor loose. Not well conceived of God, who though his power. Creation could repeat, yet would be loath. Us to abolish, least the adversary. Triumph and say, fickle their state whom God. Most favors, who can please him long, me first. He ruined, now mankind, whom will he next? Matter of scorn, not to be given the foe. However I with thee have fixed my lot. Certain to undergo like doom, if death. Consort with thee, death is to me as life. So forcible within my heart I feel the bond of nature draw me to my own. My own and thee, for what thou art is mine. Our state cannot be severed, we are one. One flesh, to loose thee were to loose myself. So Adam, and thus Eve to him replied. O glorious trial of exceeding love. Illustrious evidence, example high. Engaging me to emulate, but short. Of thy perfection, how shall I attain? Adam, from whose dear side I boast me sprung. And gladly of our union hear thee speak. One heart, one soul in both, whereof good pro off. This day affords, declaring thee resolved. Rather than death or aught than death more dread. Shall separate us, linked in love so dear. To undergo with me one guilt, one crime. If any be, of tasting this fair fruit. Whose virtue, for of good still good proceeds. Direct, or by occasion hath presented. This happy trial of thy love, which else. So eminently never had been known. Were it I thought death act would ensue. This my attempt, I would sustain alone. The worst, and not persuade thee, rather die. Desert it, then oblige thee with a fact. Pernicious to thy peace, chiefly azured. Remarkably so late of thy so true. So faithful love unequalled, but I feel. Far the wise th event, not death, but life. Augmented, opened eyes, new hopes, new joys. Taste so divine, that what of sweet before. Hath touched my sense, 
flat seems to this, and harsh. On my experience, Adam, freely taste. And fear of death delivered to the windis. So saying, she embracked him, and for joy. Tenderly wept, much one that he his love. Had so ennobled, as of choice to incur. Divine displeasure for her sake, or death. In recompense, for such compliance bad. Such recompense best merits, from the bow. She gave him of that fair enticing fruit. With liberal hand, he scrupled not to eat. Against his better knowledge, not deceived. But fondly overcome with female charm. Earth trembled from her entrails, as again. In pangs, and nature gave a second groan. Ski lowered, and muttering thunder, some sad drops. Wept at completing of the mortal sin. Original, while Adam took no thought. Eating his fill, nor Eve to iterate. Her former trespass feared, the more to sooth. Him with her loved society, that now. As with new wine intoxicated both they swim in mirth, and fancy that they feel. Divinity within them breeding wings. Wherewith to scorn the earth, but that false fruit. Father operation first displayed. Carnal desire inflaming, he on Eve. Began to cast lascivious sighs, she him. As wantonly repaid, in lust they ban. Till Adam thus can Eve to dalliance move. Eve, now I see thou art exact of taste. And elegant, of sapience no small part. Since to each meaning savour we apply. And palate call judicious, I the praise. Yield thee, so well this day thou hast pervade. Much pleasure we have lost, while we abstained. From this delightful fruit, nor known till now. True relish, tasting, if such pleasure be. In things to us forbidden, it might be wished e. For this one tree had been forbidden ten. But come, so well refreshed, now let us play. As meat is, after such delicious fare. For never did thy beauty since the day. I saw thee first and wedded thee, adorned. With all perfections, so inflame my sense. With ardour to enjoy thee, fairer now. Then ever, bounty of this virtuous tree. So said he, and forbore not glance or toy. Of amorous intent, well understood. Of Eve, whose eye darted contagious fire. Her hand he sasty, and to a shady bank. Thick overhead with verdant roof embowed. He led her nothing loath, flowers were the couch. Pansies, and violets, and asphodel. And hyacinth, earth's freshest softest lap. There they thir fill of love and love's disport. Took largely, of thir mutual guilt the seal. The solace of thir sin, till dewy sleep. Oppressed e them, wearied with thermorous play. Soon as the force of that fallacious fruit. That with exhilarating vapour bland. About thir spirits had plaid, and in most powers. Made array, was now exhaled, and gross asleep. Bread of unkindly fumes, with conscious dreams. Encumbered, now had left them, up they rose. As from unrest, and each the other viewing. Soon found theys how opened, and their minds. How darkened, innocence, that as a veil. Had shadowed them from knowing ill, was gone. Just confidence, and native righteousness. And honour from about them, naked left. To guilty shame he covered, but his robe. Uncovered more, so rose the Danite strong. Herculean Samson from the harlot lap. Of Philistine Dalala, and Wakti. Shorn of his strength, they destitute and bare. Of all their virtue, silent, and in face. Confounded long they sate, as struck and mute. Till Adam, though not less than Eve abashed. At length gave utterance to these words constrained. O Eve, in evil hour thou didst give ear. To that false worm, of whomsoever taught. To counterfeit man's voice, true in our fall. False in our promised rising, since our eyes. Open we find indeed, and find we know. Both good and evil, good lost, and evil got. Bad fruit of knowledge, 
if this be to know, which leaves us naked thus, of honour void, of innocence, of faith, of purity, our wonted ornaments now soiled and stained, and in our faces evident the senior, of foul concupiscence, whence evil store, even shame, the last of evils, of the first. Be sure then, how shall I behold the face, henceforth of God or angel, erst with joy, and rapture so oft beheld, those heavenly shapes, will dazzle now this earthly, with fur blaze, insufferably bright, O oh might I hear, in solitude live savage, in some glade, obscured, where highest woods impenetrable, to star or sunlight, spread thermbridge broad, and brown as evening, cover me ye pines, ye cedars, with innumerable bows, hide me, where I may never see them more, but let us now, as in bad plight, devise, what best may for the present serve to hide, the parts of each from other, that seem most, to shame obnoxious, and unseemliest seen, some tree whose broad smooth leaves together sowed, and girded on our loins, may cover round, those middle parts, that this newcomer, shame, there sit not, and reproach us as unclean. So counselled he, and both together went. Into the thickest wood, there soon they chose. The fig tree, not that kind for fruit renowned. But such as at this day to Indians known. In Malabar or Deccan spreads her arms. Branching so broad and long, that in the ground. The bended twigs take root, and daughters grow. About the mother tree, a pillared shade. High overarched, and echoing walks between. There oft the Indian herdsman shunning heat. Shelters in cool, and tends his pasturing herds. At loopholes cut through thickest shade, those leaves. They gathered, broad as Amazonian targe. And with what skill they had, together sowed. To gird the waist, vain covering if to hide. The guilt and dreaded shame, oh how unlike. To that first naked glory, such of late. Columbus found T.H. American so girt. With feathered cincture, naked else and wild. Among the trees are kneels and woody shores. Thus fenked, and as they thought, their shame in part. Covered, but not at rest or ease of mind. They sate them down to weep, nor wanly tearess. Rained at thighs, but high winds worse within began to rise, high passions, anger, hate, mistrust, suspicion, discord, and shook sore. Thur inward state of mind, calm region once, and full of peace, now toast and turbulent. For understanding rolled not, and the will, heard not her law, both in subjection now, to sensual appetite, who from beneath, usurping over sovereign reason claimed, Superior's way, from thus distempered breast. Adam, a strand in look and altered style. Speech intermitted thus to Eve renewed. Would thou hadst hearkened to my words, and stied. With me, as I besought thee, when that strange. Desire of wandering this unhappy morn. I know not whence possessed thee, we had then. Remained still happy, not as now, despoiled. Of all our good, shammed, naked, miserable. Let none henceforth seek needless cause to approve. The faith they owe, when earnestly they seek. Such proof, conclude, they then begin to fail. To whom soon moved with touch of blame thus Eve. What words have passed thy lips, Adam severe? Imputest thou that to my default, or will? Of wandering, as thou call'st it, which who knows? But might as ill have happened thou being by. Or to thyself perhaps, hadst thou been there. Or here th attempt, thou couldst not have discerned. Fraud in the serpent, speaking as he spake. No ground of enmity between us known. Why he should mean me ill, or seek to harm. Was I to have never parted from thy side? As good have grown there still a liveless rib. Being as I am, why didst not thou the head? 
command me absolutely not to go. Going into such danger as thou saidst. Too facile then thou didst not much gainsay. Nay, didst permit, approve, and fair dismiss. Hadst thou been firm and fixed in thy descent. Neither had I transgressed thee, nor thou with me. To whom then first incensed Adam replied. Is this the love, is this the recompense? Of mine to thee, in grateful eve, expressed. Immutable when thou wert lost, not I. Who might have lived and joyed immortal bliss. Yet willingly chose rather death with thee. And am I now upbraided, as the cause. Of thy transgressing, not enough severe. It seems, in thy restraint, what could I more? I warned thee, I admonished thee, thee, foretold. The danger, and the lurking enemy. That lay in wait, beyond this had been force. And force upon free will hath here no place. But confidence then bore thee on, secure. Either to meet no danger, or to fiend a matter of glorious trial, and perhaps. I also erred in overmuch admiring. What seemed in thee so perfect, that I thought. No evil durst attempt thee, but I rue. That error now, which is become my crime. And thou th accuser, thus it shall befall. Him who to worth in women over trusting. Let's her will rule, restrained she will not brook. And left to herself, if evil then since you. She first his weak indulgence will accuse. Thus they in mutual accusation spent. The fruitless hours, but neither self-condemning. And of their vain contest appeared no end. The end of the ninth book. Thank you.